Hey everybody, this is Mungo Dark Matter, and today I'm going to show you how to use World Painter to create a custom map in Minecraft. Now this uh, creates worlds for the Java Edition, but you can actually convert Java Edition worlds into Bedrock Editions, but that's a different video. Uh, but at any rate, let's just get started here and show you how this works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the file menu up here and go to New World. Now this kind of uh, helps create your canvas. The kind of uh, metaphor for this is it's like a paint program. So basically we are creating what would be called a canvas in a paint program. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, do, to type uh, our title. We'll just call this YouTube Demo. And uh, we have dimensions, and the, these dimensions are blocks in Minecraft. So by default, it's 640 by 640. It has to be in multiples of 128. Uh, you don't really have to calculate. You just put something in, and it will put the nearest um, number near the number that you put in. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at this size for th this demonstration. Uh, but you can make it much bigger. You can make it. 20,000 by 20,000 let's say uh, what happens though uh, we'll see is that you the world generates around it so you either have to uh, put it on uh, some sort of random world or you can actually specify the seed uh, so we could also make this circular but we're going to leave it square and uh, let's see here so we're going to go down to the next thing is topography you can see right now there's kind of like these hills and you can see the topography of them or how the levels of them or whatever. If you click here on flat, it just makes a flat uh, land for you to start with. Uh, we're going to go hilly just so that you can see what that's like. We're not going to worry about any of these levels now, but they basically change uh, the levels of the map. Uh, it's something you can experiment with. All right, now the surface material we're going to leave is simple grass right now. We can change the surface material to to uh, different things, and we have an advanced thing right here too, but we're not going to go into that right now. So the final thing is the Minecraft seed. Now this 640 by 640 area is going to be set down in the middle of a map that will be a normal Minecraft map and that will generate. So say you wanted to build a city, you might do it 640 by 640, it would plop it down in the center of the map and then it would generate a map around it. We're going to put ocean because it's going to make it easier for us to see a few things uh, as I'm explaining them. But you can put this in the middle of land as well, or you can specify a particular seed from a Java edition that you've used before. Uh, so we're going to create this now. And uh, so it's created this uh, basic map here to start with. Uh, so we're going to just start editing this a little bit. And the first thing we're going to actually do is there is this right over here if we click on this this raises and lowers the surface so we're just gonna we're gonna use this this brush right here and you can see it's black in the center and it goes to gray uh, that gradation it makes it less sharp of a uh, a brush basically you'll see how that affects it in a minute so left click and move around you can see it raises the, the uh, terrain here but if we go back and we right click it lowers it and then at a certain point it will bring up water because the water is at a, at a level beneath this land right here and so we need to hold down the right mouse key and it will slowly kind of lower it and we can move along back and forth just like a brush and create like a river here. And I'm going to create another river going down here. And you'll see why in a minute. It will kind of help us keep track when we look at the actual map or the completed map. It will help us keep track of what we've done on some of the uh, these quadrants here. First thing maybe also to look at is see there's this little uh, red uh, X here that's the spawn point and we can actually change that by clicking on here so let's click and change the spawn point to this area right here so the next thing that we can do is we're gonna go to biomes right here now there's a this, this uh, program does layers it does all sorts of things you can think of the biomes and the terrains as layer layers um, so the biome right here 
is um, it, it doesn't really do as much as you would think. It doesn't create the biome. It, it, it designates an area as a biome. So when you do that, uh, it will have the weather of that biome and it will generate um, mobs of that biome and it will have all the characteristics of that biome. But we still have to put blocks down. Uh, so right now by default this is grass and you're going to see when we do this we're going to put a couple different biomes on here and in some of the biomes the grass changes color and so so that's one thing that it will actually do because we have uh, a green kind of uh, hilly land right here uh, so w by default I believe this is all plains so we can go to another biome and so let's Let's do a jungle biome right here, and we're going to just uh, we're going to take this brush. We've selected the biome, and you'll see with the jungle biome, it puts this over the area to show you where the biome would be. It's not going to put any trees down, even though it looks like it's putting trees down here. It's just telling us that this is the jungle biome, and if we put trees down here, they will be jungle trees. Uh, so we'll we'll try another biome here. Let's see what we have. We have uh, we don't want that. Let's go for an ice spikes biome right here, just to see what it does. We're gonna just put that right there, and we have different forest biomes. We have swamps. We're gonna put the swamp right here because because swamp areas have a different color of uh, grass. And so let's see if we can find a uh, another uh, area here. Snowy tundra. Let's do that as well. Uh, we will put that right here. This is supposed to be snowy tundra. Right here. So th those we just put some biomes there, so you can see what it it does to those biomes. If we really want to do something though. We're going to go to terrain here, and like so, we can see this is a grassy area. We're going to pick stone right here. And uh, if we use the brush uh, with stone, you can see we're going to make like a swath of stone here. And then we're going to go here, and we're going to actually raise this up. See how much we can raise this up here. We'll raise some of the grass there. That's just to show you how this is. Now, now there are different brushes here uh, that you can experiment with how they actually uh, work. It's just like using a brush in a paint program where uh, it, it might, it affects the way that it raises up. So it might raise it up in peaks. In this case, this brush raises everything up kind of smoothly, and you'll see that. You can also actually download custom brushes uh, as well, and because it just has some basic brushes to start off with. But this is fine to s start with, uh, particularly as you're experimenting. And then once you see how it works, you may want to uh, download some custom brushes as well. All right, so so that is um, that is the layer with the terrain. Uh, let's put some other stuff down. We can put some, I think this is ice spikes here. So let's put some Ice spikes down. Let's see. Flow, no, that's just flowing water. Let's get rid of that. All right. If we go to the layers level here, we can actually add different things here. So uh, let's uh, add a decidual forest right here. Let's add a pine forest um, over here somewhere. And we can actually add a jungle, and we'll add that right here. Uh, so those are going to be the trees. So now we have uh, different layers that we've let, laid down. So we've put like trees down, we've put the biomes down, and we put different terrains down. So let's see what this looks like. Uh, we're going to um, save the world first, and when we save the world, it's in in a format that will we can uh, open up in this. Uh, program and so uh, we're going to save that as YouTube demo so we can go back later and re-edit this map so you want to always save it in that format but to get it to work in Java we have to export it and we're going to export as a Minecraft map and it's going to by default put the default 
directory where your saves should be for Minecraft, if you've changed that for whatever reason, which is highly unlikely, uh, you'll uh, you'll want to change that to whatever your directory is. We're going to use the name uh, YT Demo right here. There's a bunch of other things that you can experiment in here as far as the generation goes. Uh, we're not going to bother with most of those, except we're going to put make it creative. Uh, if you if you make it survival, you may want to allow cheats. Creative selects allow cheats automatically. Uh, so that will uh, um, allow you to change it over to creative later easily if you want to. So uh, then we're just going to export it. And the bigger the map is, the longer it will take. It shouldn't take too long with 640 by 640, but... It can take some time if, the, if you generate a much larger portion of the map than that. So it's generated it. All we have to do is OK. And now we're going to open up uh, Minecraft. Uh, the thing to remember on this is if you have Minecraft open already, uh, you're going to either have to close Minecraft or go back out to the main menu for it to reread um, the profiles that it has for wor worlds. Uh, so just be aware of that all right so this is our world right here you can see we put jungle trees up over here uh, and you can see a pine forest over there as we go up in this world you can see the grass is different colors depending on what biome it is we put some snow down over here and then we have a deciduous forest over here which means that it loses its leaves in fall So, so there's the snow. If we go over here, you'll see we made some mountains out of uh, just regular stone. And we raised those up. And if we go over here, you'll see this is the edge of what we created. And we made it in a water world, so it kind of drops off abruptly. But we can actually go to the back to the map and uh, re-edit this down. If we go back to our uh, map, you can see here, it's a square, so those edges are gonna be abrupt. One reason to make it round is to kind of make that less noticeable, so we can have made the map a round map. Uh, but in this case, it actually works pretty good because we can kind of smooth the edges down so it looks more natural. Uh, so all we're going to do is we're going to take this brush and right click. Uh, we had to make sure we uh, click on uh, the uh, raise and lower. And uh, we're going to just start to make this not such a um, hard line. So we have to go kind of go around here and just mold the edges of this to make it like an island. Or in this case, since we have rivers running through them, it actually ends up being four islands. Uh, and then uh, we'll just smooth it off to see what to see what happens, to see what it looks like. Uh, you may also want... We'll leave these trees to see what happens, but you may want to also come back and erase those or whatever. Or, alternatively, when you make the map, you may want to smooth the edges before you put the trees down. So you could do this in stages where you saw what the biomes look like, then you saw what the uh, terrain looked like, and then you saw what the tree layers look like. So you could regenerate this multiple times if you wanted to as you're building it. So we're going to go over here and see how well we did. And as we approach the end of this river, we're, we're coming to the ocean, you can see that we have smoothed it off quite a bit. And this goes down into the water. You may have to do this a couple of times. There may actually be an edge. And there you can see it right there. There's the straight edge that went down. So you may have to come back and feather this edge a little bit more here. Or you could leave it this way if you wanted to. So that makes it look a little more natural and you can just go back and forth between the map you're working on and the, the worlds that you generate to see 
uh, how well they're working. So that's uh, basically how you use uh, World Painter for Minecraft. I'm Mungo Dark Matter. And whatever you do, enjoy the day, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.